What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Tonatine.com. These are five simple stretches that you can do right at your desk to minimize pain in your neck and back. All right, you guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. I'm excited to be able to share some of these stretches and exercises with you and hopefully help you out of some of the neck and shoulder pain that you might be experiencing. If you do like this video, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also, if you haven't done so already, that subscribe button right down there, hit that to subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. Okay, so as a doctor of physical therapy, one of the more common problems that I see is neck and kind of upper trap and shoulder pain. Now, ironically enough, Enough, this pain doesn't always come from my athletes and just being active. It's actually the opposite end of the spectrum. It's my people who work the desk job that most common come in and see me with this neck pain and headache pain and shoulder pain. Now, this is because, well, first of all, we're not really made to sit for long periods of time, but I think the majority of us, if you do have a desk job, you show up in the morning and you kind of sit at your desk all day until lunch, you take a lunch break, and then you come back and you sit at your desk all day until it's it's time to quit. It's these longer hours seated in one position that typically lead to the muscle and joint pain that we experience in our neck and shoulders. And so today I wanted to run you guys through some simple stretches and exercises that you can actually do right at your desk as a rest break in order to minimize some of that stress on your joints and on your muscles. Now, the first thing that we actually need to do is get your desk set up in the right position that's gonna be just right for you. We refer to that as ergonomics, fitting your workspace to your body type. Now, I actually shot a video last week, how convenient, I know, all about ergonomics and all about how to set up your desk in the right position for your body type. And so what I want you guys to do, there's a link, I'm gonna put it floating around right up here right now. You can also click on it in the description to this video that's gonna take you to that video that I shot last week. Your first step in all of this is to set up your desk in a way that's right for your body type. So I want you to go and check out that ergonomic video and I want you to get everything set up the right way. Now, what I wanna do with the rest of this video is show you five simple stretches that you can actually do for your neck and for your upper shoulders and for your lower back. You can do them right at your desk at work that are going to give you a little bit of a break and hopefully help you out of some of the pain or discomfort that you might be experiencing. Exercise number one is going to be a chin tuck. Now, so many of us as we sit at a desk do so with poor posture. Head comes forward, shoulders start to round forward. So my first two stretches are going to be to combat those two motions. So to do this chin tuck, sit up straight, and then what I want you to visualize is your chin stuck tucking straight back into your throat. So you can even exaggerate it, you can push your neck forward, but then what I want you to do is try to pull your chin back into your neck as far as you can. Hold that for a three to five second hold, and then come back to a neutral position. Tuck your chin in, hold for three to five seconds, and then come back to a neutral position. Should feel a stretch right through the base of your skull. I recommend that you do about three sets of 10 of those, or about 30 of those total. Exercise number two is going to be a scapular retraction. Again, because the shoulders round forward, we need them to be back here where our posture is good, where our ears are right over our shoulders. So to do that, you can do some of these scapular retractions. What you're going to do is simply sit with good posture and then focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together and then relax. You're going to hold, squeeze, one, two, three, and then relax. So it looks just like that. You're going to go for about 30 of those scapular retractions or scapular pinches. Next is one of my favorite for the upper shoulders and upper neck. It gets super tight throughout the day, those upper traps especially. Let's see if we can loosen them up a little bit. I call it the ear to your shoulder stretch. Simply what you're going to do, my left ear over to my left shoulder, my left hand goes up to the right side of my head and just adds a little bit of overpressure. Should feel that on the right side of your neck, basically from your ear all the way down the right side, even out to your shoulder blade. You'd hold that for 20 seconds to the left and then to stretch the other side, I'm gonna do that for 20 seconds to the right, and then repeat that three times. Our next exercise is gonna focus on mobilizing the lower back. We're gonna be doing some anterior and posterior pelvic tilts. So to do that, what I want you to do is rock your hips forward, really try to arch through your lower back to stretch kind of in this direction, and then you're gonna rock your hips backwards, so kind of my lower back goes towards my chair, my hips tuck underneath myself. That would be considered one rep. So we're gonna go forward as far as I can and then backwards as far as I can. That would be rep number two, 
forward and backward. So we're just getting that lower back moving as we're seated in our chair. Again, about 30 reps is a good number to shoot for. Finally, we're gonna be doing some seated marches. It's a great way to get the blood moving into the legs, also to minimize that pressure on the hamstrings as we're sitting for long periods of time. It's under constant pressure. It's just a good way to unload those for a second. Really simple, sit with good posture in your chair. You're gonna lift your left, left knee up towards the ceiling, make sure the hamstring clears the chair, set it right back down, and then repeat that with the right side. So literally seated in your chair, doing some of these marches, taking your hips through as much range of motion as you have available. About 30 marches on each leg is a good number to shoot for. All right, you guys, and there you have them. Five simple exercises for your neck, shoulders, and back that you can do right at work, seated right at your desk, that are hopefully gonna minimize strain and pain in those areas. Again, my recommendation is run through a set of these about every 60 minutes. Shouldn't take you more than five minutes to get through all the recommended sets and reps of each one of these exercises. If you do that every hour while you're at work, you should be good to go. Hey, I hope you guys found this video beneficial. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below to like this video. That really helps get it out there in the YouTube world. Thank you so much for doing that in advance. If you guys have any questions, or comments or suggestions for future videos you'd like to see from Tone and Titan, be sure to leave those in a comment down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet to Tone and Titan, do it now. Hit that button right down below. This is that video about ergonomics that I mentioned earlier. This is the one down here about the muscle knots in your neck and upper shoulders. Make sure you guys check those videos out also. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time right here on Tone and Titan.